So today we're training upper body. Most of you guys have said, said we see the legs, we see the glutes, but we need that upper body routine because chat, those muscles be muscling, baby. It's, it's, it's giving muscle mommy a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I'm going to show you guys how I've been able to achieve my upper body. So it's somewhat the same exercises that I've been using over the years. I don't switch up my exercises and all of that. It's somewhat the same things, which is why even when I do my glutes, legs and all of that, the exercises always remain the same because you don't want to be switching up your workouts because that is road to not seeing any results. You should know that if you've watched a couple videos back. <laughs> but yeah, we're not trying to switch up our workouts. We're trying to do say, stick to the same kind of workouts, stick to the same routine. Obviously, changing here and there, little tweaks and all of that, but still trying to do the same things because that's how you're going to beat results. So if you're not seeing results, please check in with yourself. If you're constantly doing something new and all of that, it's fun and can be great and all of that good fun. However, that does not breed results. That thing of shocking the muscles that they can grow, there's no such thing, okay? Master that same routine, build on that. And the only thing that you're changing is sets, reps, and the weights, baby, to build those results, okay? Got it. We are at 90 freaking thousand subscribers. In less than seven months, it's giving... What is it giving, guys? Let me know in the comment section. What is it giving? Because 90,000 subscribers in less than seven months... Of just pure no funny is just come on now come on now just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that is subscribed to my channel if you are new here please do subscribe because baby road to 100k and that is on my vision board if you haven't watched my vision board uh, videos go check that out to see how we're setting goals and stepping on things this year so we're going to training we're going to be training upper body arms chest back core all that good stuff. for people that are going to ask where is my core workouts or like my ab workouts i do those on my core day so my day four is a conditioning and core day let me know if you guys want me to record that but it's a conditioning and core day i do have my cardio and core day um a video on that on the channel so you can check that out but i have conditioning and core and which is where i then train my abs and my obliques abs are trained through most movements when you're lifting and all of that kind of stuff you're going to be training your core you're going to be, as well as it's important in training your abs and your core is important before stability so for you to be able to do lifts and things like that for you to be able to do even squats for the lower body to perform well your core needs to be on so if you're not training your core if you're not doing all that stuff the core workouts the core exercises baby you're going to struggle okay so that's how i train my course even when i'm performing lifts today that you're going to see because chat i'm about to be on that lifting gate because our goal for this year is everything strong. That's how I'm trying to come through, baby. So, um, yeah, we're trying to be strong this year. We're trying to be, that's, what, that's how we're moving in this year. So if you're all about that, you're on the right channel. If you're not, enjoy the entertainment. <laughs> I train, isolate, do isolation movements for my core on my conditioning and core day. On my upper body day, I don't train my core that much. Like, I, I don't isolate my core because I already train it on a separate day, as well as it allows me to put more focus on these other bigger muscles, especially the back muscles. As well as when you perform lifts, anyways, when you're doing lifts like deadlifts, when you're doing a squat, when you're doing glute bridges, there is use of the core in all those exercises, which is why you should be making sure that with all of those exercises, you're bracing your core, as well as engaging your core muscles the entire time as you perform the exercises because that's what's going to allow you to be able to reap all the benefits of the exercise that you're doing as well as build on those abs period let's go work out i'm rambling uh i'm gonna see you guys in the gym i got my pre-workout right here period as well as creatine in here period because we're all about those gains thank you so much for ninety thousand plus subscribers if you're new here you should know by now that we don't skip up a body get into it baby okay we don't ladies Okay, when I'm skipping up a body, we're training chest, yes, we're training back, we're training traps. Will training my upper body make me bulky? Babe, we don't even have the build to be bulky. We don't even have the hormones to be built bulky. The only thing that it's going to do, let me flex a little, is make you look like this. Now, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. <laughs> built physique is just looking too good. So I want you to be on that. So we're training upper body just as hard as we train lower body. Let's get on those games. I'm going to see you guys when we get to the gym. Let's go. To these ashy ass dicks. <laughs>
Do you guys like my fit? It's all maroon, burgundy. Do you guys like it? I love it. I feel good. So standard procedure, we're going to kick this workout off with a warm up. I went onto the treadmill for 10 minutes at level 5 to 6. If you would like to push it, you can go for another 5 minutes and up the level into a jog. I just wanted to stay at this level because I was feeling well warmed up before this workout. Now I went onto the treadmill 10 minutes as well as before some of you guys come at me because I'm running slides and all of that and all that. If you're uh, new here you're gonna have questions but if you're a regular degula you're gonna know because i've spoken about this stuff um in most of my videos when it comes to shoes and things like that it all comes down to preference as well as since i'm training upper body i don't mind to wear slides however i did change into my shoes when it got to this part of the workout which is always the plan but same thing if you guys see me training barefoot and all of that it feels best for me to lift barefoot because your feet um, the connection between your feet and the ground um, is very important when you're performing your lifts. Your feet have to be flat on the ground and you can't have your heels lifting up and all of that or your toes uncomfortable. And sh the shoes sometimes are uncomfortable for me and which is why sometimes I'll go barefoot. So back to the warm up. So I did a couple of exercises. Please make sure that you're warming up, especially your shoulders because you don't want to get that shoulder injury. And then I went on to some tricep dips to warm up my triceps. I did two sets of these with 10 to 12 reps. And then I also went on to some push-up and reach um exercises and basically just to get your entire upper body warmed up which is very important before you go into lifting for your upper body So to start still within the warm-up we did an aerobic exercise very low impact um this is the rowing machine if you do not have this machine in your gym or you're training at home you can use a long resistance band to perform this exercise so you would tie the resistance band um to a pole now this is a low impact uh cardio exercise and this is basically to warm up our upper body muscles but this machine in itself um trains most muscle groups including your legs but i think is a great way to get your um heart rate up as well as to get your upper body muscles into the groove of what we're trying to do so going straight into the first exercise like i said we're all about those lifts we're all about getting strong so we're going to go into a conventional deadlift um i really need for us to not be afraid of the barbells ladies um as well as the dumbbells we have to get in on those lifts now in performing this deadlift what you want to focus on is your upper body is mainly the way that i like to think of it your upper body is pulling and your lower body is pushing so you want to think with my feet i'm pushing the ground away as well as you're using your upper body to create that force that allows you to lift and so you want to lock in on your elbows and think elongate my arms before performing the lift and making sure that your hips are not too high or your hips are not lifting off before you lift the actual weight and so keeping and making sure that your elbows are aligned with your knees will allow you to be able to perform this correctly this will force you to engage your lats in doing this movement as well as you will feel a little bit of glutes as well as hamstrings now going into the next exercise i went on to a military press and i superseted that with upright rows i include military press in every upper body exercise like even when i change my uh workout my exercises military press always has to be there because it has allowed me to be able to build really good um strength in my upper body as well as build on my um back muscles and so i performed four sets of 10 with the military press and again making sure that you're keeping the tension in those muscles that we're trying to work and slowing it down and not trying to rush through the exercise as always as i always let you guys know that it is important for you to slow down the movements make each rep count and keep all reps 
intentional in how you go about them we went straight into the upright row and with this one you need to be careful because you can easily injure your shoulder with this exercise so it's important to perform it correctly and so with this exercise there really isn't any need to go heavy you want to keep it at a weight that you're able to manage and I like to initiate the movement from my elbows and not my wrists, which is what which is what's going to help us to keep this in our delts. When I tell you that this entire superset is very humbling, like you literally feel like, okay, I think I'm done for the day because uh, as you can see from my face, I'm done out. Um, <laughs> but we were ready to go uh, straight into the next exercise. Like I said, guys, like I always say, please make sure you're getting in your rest between your exercises one to two minutes. We went into our chest press performing four sets of 10 um, this is entirely focused on the chest now a question that i get a lot if i train my chest will i lose my boobs training or working out your chest is not what results in you losing your boobs what results in you losing your boobs is in is you losing body fat so if you lose weight yes you can um have your boobs look smaller or appear smaller however working out or training your chest is not what equates to you having lost your boobs okay then we went on to your superset like a mad person that i am why would i do this you know the way that my arms are feeling right now when i was trying to get these push-ups and i was surprised i told myself i'm not going to get the 10 but we're just going to try um i pushed through and as you can see ladies get on those push-ups the results are beautiful it just builds your entire upper body and you just look good okay as you can see towards the last two reps you re really should be pushing it which is with most exercises and i think that's very important that you really should be feeling like i don't think i want to be here anymore when you get to those last two reps of each of your exercises because that's that's what shows that you're really putting it work you know what i'm saying we then moved on to the lat pull downs and I performed four sets of 12, 10, 8, 8. And with each um, set, I then increased the weight and trying to push myself a little bit more. Lat pull downs are always going to be a fave for those back muscles because as you can see the build as well as I like to call this my waist snatcher in a way <laughs> because these target um, the back and allow you to have that big back giving you the illusion of having a smaller waist humbling like i said as always and then we then go into our face pulls i absolutely love face pulls i love machine i love exercises that um include like rowings and pulls and things of that sort because it just always feels good for my body so face pulls again we want to make sure that you're engaging your lats as you do these and bringing the rope all the way and again especially in the part where we are lengthening um the muscle which is when we're allowing the uh, rope to go back all the way back to um, starting position you want to make sure that you're making it nice and slow controlling the movement control the rope and don't allow the exercise to control you or the rope to pull you we then went on to bicep curls i absolutely love bicep curls as you can see the arms are giving period per <laughs> but these are really good if you're really pushing yourself with most upper body workouts i don't like to go too heavy because i don't think it is necessary however of course you want to be building up but when you keep it at a weight that you can manage Manage. the exercise in itself will be challenging as it should be so with the bicep curls you want to make sure imagine that your elbows are clipped to your um waist or they're clipped to your body and so don't allow your arms to swing out or your elbows to swing out keep it keep it very close to your whole body and lift and i promise you will feel that burn in your biceps ladies not afraid to train biceps you're not going to have huge biceps if you train your biceps like i said you're only going to look good and have the most beautiful arms and then i went this was my third set as you can see we were trying to push it to the limit at this point um when you're not make if you're not making faces like this in the gym i don't know <laughs> i think you're comfortable babe i need you to step it up a little bit because you know when you're pulling faces like these that the work has begun you know what i'm saying and that's what we want to aim for as we train as you can see like i said upper body just humbles me all the time and recording while i'm doing it even makes it that much worse we then went on to a forearm plank which trains your whole upper body as well as your lower body forearm planks are always a fab if you want to switch it up you can do a forearm plank with a reach to make it more intense or you can include a weight on your back to make it more intense i was just really trying to keep it cute at this point because um, i just got back into the gym so we're not trying to do too much and then i went into these tricep planks which are humbling 
and I didn't get to record the full thing because my phone ran out of space. However, I performed two sets of eight reps of those and I called it a day. I said, listen, we're done. The upper body is complete. I was feeling really stiff after this workout. I could barely hold up my tripod. As you can see how I'm holding on to it for dear life because everything was just shaking. I could barely get a picture in. Um, I didn't get the sound on this, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this workout. I hope you're not skipping your upper body workouts. Please, 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 please make sure that you're training your full body. You will not become bulky or a shape that you don't like and all of that. You only become the best version of the body that you have right now. And that is the end of the workout. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. For those that do not know, I have two challenges running. The Stronger Error Challenge as well as the Apply Pressure Challenge. The Apply Pressure is 30 days. The Stronger Error is 21 days. You can start it whenever you're ready. And let's get on that work. See you guys next Sunday.